Before Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine, Gazprom accounted for almost half of Europe's gas imports. By the end of 2023, the share of Russian gas in imports has fallen to 13 percent. But for Federation's budget, that's hundreds of billions of dollars in losses. Attempts to compensate for them have so far failed. The possibility of redirecting Russian gas from Europe to China is limited by the fact that Europe is supplied from West Siberian fields, while China is supplied from East Siberian fields. This could be connected by the power of Siberia 2 pipeline, which China is now hurry to approve. Another possibility is to increase the production of liquefied natural gas, but the US targeted sanctions against specific Russian LNG projects have put this possibility into question. So far, even Chinese and Indian customers are not ready to buy LNG from sanctioned projects. Lanchina, independent expert in the field of renewable energy economics, from the publication in The Insider. Although the Chinese market is open for Russian gas, it does not let the Kremlin cover its losses. Gazprom is forced to sell blue fuel to Beijing at a reduced price, and China is in no hurry to increase supplies. Putin's numerous visits to Beijing have not moved forward the construction of the Power of Siberia 2 gas pipeline. It is known that the price of Russian gas supplies to China today has barely reached $300 per thousand cubic meters. At the same time, for the last five years it has been much lower than that. Ten years ago, when the Chinese contract with Gazprom was signed, the price level that was mentioned as guaranteeing at least a minimum profit and was many times higher than the actual price at which Gazprom supplied gas. This means that Gazprom has actually been selling gas to China at a loss for the last few years. Vladimir Milov, Russian opposition activist, economist from the publication of Krim Reali. Turkey is also getting rid of its energy dependence on Russia. So far, the country imports almost all of its natural gas from the Federation. The Russian supplies account for 40 percent of liquefied natural gas. But in late April, Ankara held a series of talks with an American energy company. According to the government, Turkey plans to, quote, create a new supply portfolio. There has been a slight increase in gas supplies to Turkey through Turkish stream, but again the volumes are not the same. There is also some growth in LNG exports to Europe. The share in Spain has increased very strongly, in some way in Belgium and somewhat in France. But we are talking about billions, not hundreds of billions of cubic meters. Meanwhile, European countries are confidently moving towards a complete rejection of gas supplies from Russia. Austria, which receives gas from supplies in the Central European hub, as well as Hungary, Italy and Slovenia, are still dependent on imports from the Federation. Vienna has already drafted a bill according to which the share of gas supplies from Russia will drop to 60 percent by 2025 and to zero by 2028. Europe is also working on the refusal from Russian liquefied natural gas. The 14th package of sanctions includes restrictions on on LNG transshipment in European ports. We need sanctions against the ships themselves, but secondary sanctions are also important against ship owners, against the infrastructure that serves this system, such as fake brokers, fake insurance companies registered in third countries like the Arab Emirates. Despite the diversification of supplies, the situation in the European market is stable, experts say. Taking into account possible risks, the European Commission has planned a complete cancellation of Russian gas imports by 2027. Reported by Anastasia Tarnavska, Larisa Zubenko, UATV News.